701. We'll call the meeting to order. Um, Recording in progress. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Now it's nice still point. 701. I'll call the meeting to order again so it's recorded. <clears throat> um, first order is accepting minutes from the August 9th meeting. Um, we went to do that last time and we did not have a quorum of people that were here for that meeting. Um, I don't need to abstain, but the three of you can uh, vote on that. I vote to accept the meetings from the August 9th meeting. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the next one would be the August 23rd, which was our last meeting. Um, I will abstain from that one I since I was there. not there. I wasn't either. Okay. I didn't. So we. I had the wrong date. Sorry. Out of the three, we have two members, which creates a quorum for that vote. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I can call the vote, uh, or I will make a motion that we accept the meeting minutes for the August 23rd meeting. I will second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So that's a two to zero vote? That is. Um, that's actually a quorum was three. But, two but if there was only three in attendance, the quorum would only be two, correct? I, yes, you are correct. Okay. I just, I, yep. I, I could no, be wrong. I, I, no, no, I, you are correct. I, okay. I thought there were more there. No, there was just, that's why you two had to abstain. Okay. Yep. You just can't do simple math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The warrants, I believe Tammy has those and they will be coming around. Coming around. Finances. Well, did Audrey get, everybody has a copy, correct? Yes. All right. This, I believe, also needs to be dealt with. Is that new mail, Terry? Yeah, this is uh, new mails. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so let me explain. The sheet on top, Okay. The one that I came across that Abby has been doing, and it kind of gives me a guideline of what you guys are looking for for reports. So... Um, and basically, it's what you know. We've been, I've been giving you, um, with the exception of the road, and it just says on here general. So I'm not really sure what you want. Um, but if you look at the last two pages of the report, it shows you two different types of reports for the road. And I'd like your opinion on which ones that you want, or do you want some different? So, more detail. What I would like, or this just personally, is the one, let's see here, I know, I know I've seen it in here. The one that says what we budgeted, what we have spent to date, and what is remaining right. um, for, the for well for the road in town yeah um, that way we know you know what the winter work looks like dirt work looks like yeah uh, the bridge equipment repair yeah so those are all itemized down the side what we budgeted how much we've spent remaining balance um, you've, you've got it in this page right here yep um, We've got the road, bridge, equipment, new equipment, paving. Okay. Uh, we want to know what we've spent and what the balance is. Obviously, you started well, we out. With, started out. You started out with uh, what was voted at town meeting. Okay. What we've spent and then what the balance is. Okay. Which would be this one right here, Audrey. Uh, this is for the Brigham Library. But if they could look like that. And it doesn't have to be broken down monthly. If it could just be a year to date, so that we know, you know, if we're on track, you know, if we're halfway through the year and we've spent eighty percent of our budget, you know, we've got some things we need to look at and so talk nice. with Mac about. You know, See, on page two, work. you have uh, the balances for those accounts, but you don't have what's spent. 
and what was originally in the account. Okay. Okay. You get road checking at 10 to 7. Um, paving grant at 40,000. New equipment at 41.4. You've got the balance of the check checking accounts there, but you don't, we don't have. Unless we will go back and look it up, we don't know what, it, what the uh, original amount was, and we don't know what we spent out of that. All, we can, all we're seeing there is the balance. How about that January 1st? Yep. I can do that. I'm sure there's one in here somewhere. And, and yeah, I think I think it's pretty easy to report to run. It's just whatever one you're running for the Brigham Library. Um, it's well, HF. Is that HF Brigham? Is that the one that I saw? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're all different, unfortunately. Yeah, that's. Be nice they were all. That's. Yep. Give me an idea of what you like. Sure. Yeah. I can do that. Um, is there any, do you see any concerns or um, anything that you want to bring to our attention? As far as? As far as the books in general, everything seems to be going smooth. Is, um, I know. I'm plugging along. Going smooth, but um, the taxes and everything. I do fall behind. I, I just want you to know that I don't get everything done on time. Okay. Um, can you elaborate on that? What, what do you not know? well, on the time? Reports are not always done on time. Huh? The reports, like the reports, and you know, doing the help. All of our state stuff is getting filing. Um, but other than that, I mean, Receive some money for. Um, we received some FEMA funds. FEMA funds. Uh, no. maybe, approximately ninety-six thousand dollars. Okay. Have you received the ARPA funds yet? We've mm -hmm. received the ARPA funds. Okay. Have those been? I know. So where those are located in their own separate account? It's a separate account. Yeah. They're, um, if we would like to go online and, and check each individual account. Um, I've actually put it on this sheet, this one sheet, it's actually on the second page. Okay. It tells you 
it lists the ARPA funds and exactly how much we have in the ARPA account to date. Oh, okay. Yep. The, yep. Thank you. Yep. Terry, did you find that? Second page, community bank accounts. Yeah, she's, bottom. Oh, she's, she's on a different, different subject. Mission. She's on a different subject. Page two. Okay. I just wanted to double check on that because I know last time we were we were close to receiving the funds. We haven't quite received the yeah, we've seen, we received the second amount of okay. funds. Quite a chunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. A little yeah. more than I thought it would be. That's wow. About 129000 more than I thought it would be. That's, that's good. Yeah. So um, we'll, then, we'll get there later in the meeting, but if yeah. anybody has any ideas, that would be beneficial to the town for the use of the ARPA funds. Um, We're doing a meeting for that, right? Yep. Yeah. After we discuss. Yep. Um, what I didn't see, and maybe it's just because I missed it, Audrey, uh, was uh, what is our current balance on the FEMA loan? I can address that. Thank you. As soon as you, they transfer that 96000 for that payment, they're going to send us an itemized statement on what went to the principal, the interest, and what's left. Okay. Approximately? Approximately tomorrow. If you sign that warrant for tonight, they're going to transfer the money tomorrow from the account to the, the FEMA LLC. Yeah, and that would be leave, what, approximately a little over $100,000? Left to pay, yeah. Yes, okay. Probably. Just off the top of my head, that's good. Good. So, you should know by the next meeting because this one's on it. Yep. Well, oh, obviously, yeah. we're not, uh, we're, we're simple human beings. We're not bankers. We can't figure out principal and interest. Right. Now, yeah. will we be getting any more FEMA money? Yes. Yes. Anyway, well, I hope so. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to get my eyes. Yep. No, oh, there's more coming. <coughs> when? When they get darn good and ready. So you get a financial every month for the library? Yes. Yep. So, you, so well, how come the library doesn't get it? They are the trustees and they're the ones that are supposed to know where the money's going. That I believe we're going to address in the next um Oh, we both get it? We should. And I think that's, that's where the I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a negative there. Okay. Yes. Well, I can explain. I did not know. <clears throat> Pure and simple. Nobody asked me for one. I did not know. Um, when I was asked for one, I gave uh, a bunch of different ones. Which ones do you want? There was no response. Um, so I think communication is not what I would like it to be. But I went over to the library and I asked Shirley she got a chance to look over the um, reports that I gave her. And she told me that the reports I gave her were all the wrong ones, that she didn't need those. So I asked her to show me what she needed. And she did, and I didn't. Sorry, it's partially my fault for not being more aggressive on the situation and thinking, well, maybe she wants to report, but <coughs> I dropped them off. Can 
I guess this will be addressed. So I in see on some of these bills though, are, are we just, do we overlap with like, I know it's a telephone company that's got a previous balance. We're not getting late payments because they're not paying the payments at the same time, are they? Well, it's we got did. past due and due on our consolidated bill. Well, I did get a email from... I think the previous balance was a credit. There's a credit? Yeah. At the top? Is that the one I'm thinking of? None of the rest of this is going to be Is it for the router town? It's for consolidated town For the town Town of Bakers. Probably a road. Maybe. Would it not be everybody? I would say it's for the town. For the road. Yeah, it's a little boring. We use drivers. That's two. That's two. Oh, I didn't do the ones coming in. And, um, and I don't think I had to look back. Do you know? Did you look back to see if we'd already paid that one? I mean, I know we paid it, so the check probably didn't clear. So we're going to overpay again. Sure. Overpaying, but we're not underpaying, correct? Okay. Um, but you can actually reduce this by the new charge. So, just so what's happening is the, the uh, last month's bill isn't being paid in time to get to their offices and clear it before the next bill goes out. Okay. So, yeah, that's all you will need. To is do that our stuff. fault or is it just what? Because what there's they no late, it, it there's doesn't no show me there's no late fee. Oh, okay. So the bill was apparently fees. paid on time, it just okay. didn't make it to their offices in so time to yeah. 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 be credited before the new billing. So I'm <coughs> going to assume, and I'm going to go look before you change this. No one signed it yet um, to make sure that one would have gone out. I don't know. Well, I mean, so that seems like it seems like it was cutting kind of pretty close to the deadline. Mm -hmm. Billing day is August twenty fourth. So I also received. aren't made late, but they're made at the last possible instant. It's so it seems like it would be better if we backed up a week or so and made sure that they were paid a week before they were due or deposited a week before they were due so that we avoid this. I, and I can agree with you, but I need to know approximately how much some more is going to be 
so I'm not transferring a lot of money that's going to sit there and not draw interest. Well, we're probably uh, less worried about it drawing minimal amount of interest because, quite frankly, we don't have any accounts in the bank right now that are drawing great amount of interest than we are of uh, ruining our credit rating by, you know, and yes, we do have overdraft insurance. Thank you. We do. But a late payment still affects our credit rating as a town. And that comes back and it bites us in the end. I increased the amount this month. Normally, I, normally I went and I, and I transfer over $1,000 with two subscribers. In this instance, there was a $699 purchase, which kind of took a big bite out of it. transferred the money in yet, don't send the checks out. Hold the check, get the money transferred, then mail them out. Or, I don't know if you're doing them electronically or then don't do anything electronically until the following day. Oh, okay. But the bill paying is mailed out? Or yes. So you had to have mailed them way too soon before you transferred. So transfer way before you even think about putting a stamp on it. Because those will add up in a hurry, and we can't, our budget is so you, tight. You get the warrant, you got to write the checks. You know how much the warrant is, it's in front of you. Transfer the money then, then do the checks. Yeah. Um, the other one I received, and I believe the rest of the board received it, was a late payment to the, the state tax. There was no tax liability. Oh. And I, and I, again, all I can say is I had no idea that we had to do it because nobody has any taxes taken out. For what now? I, didn't, I guess I didn't see the oh, we, have to do, we have to do uh, Form 436 for the state. And it's basically showing how much taxes we're taking out for state from the employees of the library on the border. And again, I didn't know it needed to be done. And I did, took it and I did it and then everything is fine. It's it's a learning lesson. I'm excited. I'm not. all I can say is I just didn't know. So we didn't receive anything from the state saying that it was that it was due or yeah, yeah, how do you know it's due? Cheryl got a letter stating that it needed to be filed. And I followed up on it. But there's no invoice from the state prior to this, that? No. This is an income tax yes. we're talking about? It, Social Security. Social Security, okay. Well, no, it, it was um, state <laughs> law. It's still Social Security though, isn't it? No, Social Security is paid to the federal government. <laughs> With so, tax so it's from their state income so taxes it's the state were not income withheld. Tax were not held, withheld from the two employees that work out right. there. Yes, notice of intent to assess, not ret no return, return not filed. I knew I had it in file there somewhere. I just when you're a business, even if it, no taxes are taken out, you still have to file it, and the library is just done quarterly. I believe. Yes. Motion saying yes. If firearms dealer is going to sell any firearms, still has to file. Okay. All right. Put it in terms so I can understand. Put that in my terms for you, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But the state doesn't send anything out letting you know. Um, they do. They did. They, they, well, they sent the they sent a letter right. saying that it wasn't received, basically. They and were done in March. And this was August 18th. And so it was done at the end of March, it's done at the end of June, it's done at the end of... So 
September. Monday, I believe it's it. September? Yeah, there you go. Okay. You missed your death. So we had it for March. And then yeah. they sent us nothing after that. Well, they don't send anything in March either. They were done in March. Okay. It, the whatever gets filed was done in March. So maybe if we can just, you know, put a put a reminder on the computer or something, just make sure we get that paperwork filed in there so we don't get another one of these. <laughs> yep. No, I just want to make sure we don't get another letter. That's all. Okay. Um. That's all I have for questions for Audrey. Is anybody else? Okay. I think I think we're all set, Audrey. But we'll probably have you hang out just because I know the library has some questions, and we may just need to work out some logistics between you and them. If that's all right. Yeah, Perfect. Thank you, Speedy, for coming up here. That's the norm. So the next one on is our visitors. Two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. Which would be the library is first on deck. Just got a bill? Okay. No kidding. Okay. I just I just wondered if we because we approved it. Okay. Unless it came in. It's right here. Board of Trustees of the Library, and we actually have a couple of other members of us this evening, Kate Figure and Wayne Cobb. Um, I was asked here in May, I believe, um, and we were talking about some of the transitioning issues that the library had experienced um, with the new treasurer. Um, I actually wrote a letter, which I don't think we've had a chance to see. I, we received it. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's on <laughs> I just got the mail. <laughs> I just got the mail. So I, I think I know the gist of it for our conversation. Yeah. Okay. So it really was just addressing the two issues which you've already spoken of this evening. Um, the issue of that withholding uh, report not being filed with the state it was a real concern to the board. And then we had a check. That was um, turned, well, actually, no, it wasn't returned, it was paid, but there were insufficient funds in the account. And those were areas that the board felt very strongly about. We had an emergency meeting last week um, to talk about what we could do and how, what, how we wanted to handle the situation. Um, the gist of it is really that the, the board feels that this is entirely unprofessional, and as trustees of the the board as a steward of public funds and you know, let me back up our main concern is that we are handling public funds appropriately and also that we're providing a good work environment for our employees and I mentioned in the letter that the, one of the biggest outcomes of the situation now is that our librarian director of the libraries is seriously considering resigning her position because she just doesn't feel she can work in this environment which obviously is a huge concern for us. So we are considering the board that we can do, um, which I understand isn't a whole lot because the state statute says that we have to have checks written by the treasurer, yeah. but we are gonna have to get a much better handle on what is happening with our funds and how our accounting is being done. Um, so, so you were here for the conversation with Audrey, so you know, um, so ju just to be clear, the board has not met since that letter. We, we wanted to let you know where we were coming from. We haven't made any real decisions. Okay. We had hoped to be able to do an entirely different thing and get accounting services elsewhere. Uh, we can't do that because right. the state isn't allowed. Right. Um, so we are at the point as a board of figuring out what can we do. Okay. Um, so we haven't made any decisions. Okay. Um, so... I, I received your minutes from your from your meeting the other night. Um, I also looked at the oh, what is it called here? Law of Public Libraries, the PDF from Vermont League of Cities and Towns. I read through that. 
Um, I know more about library operations than I probably ever would need to know. But um, yeah, I look through it. Um, it. The way I read it, read it one way, it puts you in this direction, read it again, and you're like, typical state, you know, document. Um, <laughs> it's, it's fun. So what I get out of this is that your board of directors is in full control of <coughs> the monies allotted to you by the town to spend how you see fit. However, you do have to go through the channel of using the town uh, treasurer. That it also says that you can appoint people to positions as you see fit. So I think, and this is just my, my personal opinion, not the opinion of the board in any way, shape or form, is that um, possibly appointing somebody to do finances on your end before they get to the town treasurer um, and work hand in hand with the town treasurer to make sure that your numbers line up with the numbers that Audrey has and uh, to keep a to keep a book of your own so that we know everything is being done. Um, we can work with Audrey to figure out what dates uh, certain things need to be filed. I am in no way, shape, or form can tell you that you know this needs to be filed on this date. I just don't know that information. So I mean I think uh, in this case a little bit of teamwork will go a long ways. Whereas um, instead of hiring somebody, working as close as possible as we can with Audrey to get this resolved and working smoothly. And I will say that our librarian has been here weekly trying to do that. Okay. Um, we have not seen a financial report since. Yeah, and the one that I said I have. February. Okay, the one that I said I have here, I didn't look at the date right off, and I think it's... Excuse me, but I don't see... Um, I don't see her weekly. I, okay, I, I'm just saying this, this is what you've been told. No, about. I had to go to the links of going to the library on my own time to try to get a hold of her. Because she doesn't respond to my email. Well, we don't need to get into it. He said she's well, no, no, sick. That's not what we're being told as the Board of Trustees. I'm just, I'm just trying to explain that I would like the communication to be open, more open, because if I give the reports and they're not the correct reports, then I need to know, not wait until I go to her and ask her if they're okay. So, um, when are your things typically filed? Do you have a warrant twice a month? Twice a month. Okay. All right. And your meetings are? First Monday of the month. So first Monday, so that theoretically that stuff should be getting here probably Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest, which would be three to four days before our first meeting of the month. Mm -hmm. well, okay, I, I believe they are. Okay. This one is up to date to May. Third, if you can take this and see if it aligns with what you have. That's the date at the top. Audrey. There's a second page on that. Yeah, there's okay. Yep, that's it. The hop doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. So this is up to date. Eight thirty-one. Nick, you said the meetings are twice a month. No, once a month. Once a month. Meetings once a month. First Monday of the month. Yeah. If you, can, if you can take this and have it, um, and maybe um, Audrey, if, yeah, if you could give them a up-to-date balance on their account so that they can start a register of their own just to track it so that they know where they are on their end as a board of trustees, we'll have it on our end and then we can make sure when you do have the communications that everybody is on the same page, there's no miscommunications, there's no, um, everything's flowing smoothly. Does that yeah, make sense? Good. Does that work for everybody? We will certainly try. Um, 
Can we get an assurance that we're not going to be bouncing any more checks? We so well, that's, and that's what we just talked right, about. That's what I was wondering. Are you aware that there was three? There's been three checks that have been? Two of them will be for IEP. They were from December 21st. It says June. It was in June. I have two for June and one for August here. Yeah. Did you not receive those? Yes, no. Um, and anything that you receive on your end, it can be here. sent to Audrey. Well, that's it. Carbon copy to the rest of the board so we know. That would be good. Um, do you have to know those master funds include the libraries funding as well? We're gonna, yeah, I didn't realize that. It was working on what we can do. Okay. That's not my question. That's your question. Did I have the hearing headlights looking? Yeah. No. Okay. I found out that I wasn't transferring the money correctly. And that's what caused that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what caused that. But um, there was one in here from December. Well, where is the uh, the principal amount of the HF Brigham uh, budgetary funds? Where where are they kept? In a separate account? Is there yes. that it's a checking yeah. account um, or is that a savings account? Checking and savings. Sorry. If it's checking and savings and they've got a balance of thirty thousand four hundred thirty nine dollars, I don't see how we can be bouncing checks. What are we earning in savings? Probably three quarters of a percent. Maybe two percent. Not even. Mm -hmm. Savings account earning less than one. So there, there is no logical reason for keeping the balance of the checking account so long that we run it up, run it up there. Run it up to, you know, run the balance of the checking account so that they can write a check without having to worry about bouncing the damn thing. And you don't have to worry about transferring funds the last minute to get it there. We're not earning anything worthwhile in a savings account. Bring the balance of the checking account up to a reasonable amount so it covers and will cover everything. And we won't have to worry about bouncing checks anymore. I would think we is my opinion. Italian and I'm one Italian member of the board. No, I agree with you, but I was told not to borrow, not to transfer any more money. We are earning oh. such a small amount on the savings account that we can afford to yeah. run the balance of the checking account up to a reasonable amount that's going to cover. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. What is the, do we have a, I don't have a do problem we, at sorry, all. I gave away my paper too soon. Do we have a monthly expense for the, for the, Oh, don't hand it to me. That means I have to sleep. Yeah. He's, he's going to have to pay. Yeah. What are you looking for? Uh, just like what our total warrants were for the month. Um, so eight in total, so two thousand twenty-two hundred. I would dare say you could run seventy-five hundred dollars in that account and not harm anything. Transfer the amounts every month that for the warrants, and we'd be covered by five grand. No. Sorry. No. What's that? I don't see that. No, oh, I don't see that. Is this another one? Okay. Well, that's it. Okay. Are you all set with us? Yeah. Or do, you want, do you have anything you would like to ask, say? No, it's not. Okay. okay. All right. Um, but I would like to ask. Thank you. Um, 
Can I bump you? We seem to have another code. Yeah, here. that's fine. Are we uh, just observing over here? Or do sure. we have just listening? Just listening? Uh, we actually came especially uh, to learn information about the Brigham Women's Brigham Women's Young. <laughs> I, I go to the hospital. Brigham's residence update. Okay. That's Excellent. why we're here. I just I just bumped him into this barrel. I was wondering, I didn't see the library on it. Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, I updated that, like, later that day. Sorry. That's okay. We're happy Were you to here, here for the okay. library or different? Just watching. Just watching. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of lawyers here today. Okay. And, and, in, and in the doorway. Just watching the show. Ah, uh, all sorts of spectators tonight. I like it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. When people show up to watch, I love it. So when they show up to the plane, I'm like, oh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> All right, so you're on you're on board with the update for the okay. Oh, good. Uh, let me. I'm sorry, you got me out here. Sorry. Let me fire this. I mean, technically you were ahead of all the girls up here. here. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, what we have, what's happening with Brigham? All right, we applied for and received a planning grant. The planning grant is uh, $45,000 from uh, Housing and Urban Development and $10,000 from the Franklin County Industrial Development Corporation. Uh, we are in the process of getting everybody with their paperwork all lined up so that we can actually start. I think it's going pretty well. Uh, Paul Dreher uh, and his architectural firm will be working uh, with uh, several other firms to do what? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was just uh, to do planning. And uh, it is, all right, let me pull my notes out. No, I got them here. Um, we're working with the state, uh, Sophia Benito Allison uh, from uh, grants. Um, All right, the grant official starting date was August 31st. So we, everybody is working in earnest from that date forward. Uh, Bakersfield is also available to receive uh, money from uh, the ANR Agency of Natural Resources for wastewater. Uh, and that is a forgivable loan on top of this $45,000. That would be to help us with the septic system. Okay, because the septic system obviously is not up to date and it is sorely lacking for whatever purposes we're going to be using. Is there a septic system of that, system, that building? There was. They're trying to determine whether or not uh, uh, it's usable or not. Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> All right, timelines. As I said, uh, everybody is working in earnest from August 31st on, and that is the uh, Nash, uh, Northwest Regional Planning Commission, Paul Dreher, uh, and several other organizations as well uh, through the state. Uh, we're available uh, to receive improvement loans from the CWSR, which is a uh, clean water. Uh, it's through the NRA, it's Clean Water Act. I'm sorry, Jim, it's all of this. Yeah, I thought I wrote it down here. Looks like I had envisioned. There we go. Uh, clean water and drinking water, and it's a state revolving, the uh, SRF stands for State Revolving Loan. So clean water, state revolving loan, 
which is up to, I believe, $125,000 for, and it is a forgivable loan if you qualify. And this program, from what we can see so far, does qualify. <coughs> We've had to sign, we're going to need to sign several policies tonight, uh, the town municipal policy liabilities from the VLCT, the MP1, the MP4, uh, the contract with the Northwest Regional Planning Commission, and a contract with Paul Dreher. Test pits will start this fall. Uh, they will be doing test pits on the lawn down there for the septic system in October. Uh, there will be a building inspection, uh, possibly this fall, certainly uh, by spring, and they plan on having public tours in the spring of uh, 22. Part of this plan is to bring in the public on tours for informational meetings. Uh, there will be public visioning meetings. Paul Dreher is having a quick artist there. Uh, that is his plan at this time. So that people from the meeting would be able to talk to the artist and he could sketch up really quick what people are envisioning so that other people can view it more easily. Um, it's looking really good. We're not looking at this point. We're not looking for more public involvement. At a little bit later date, we absolutely will be. We want to get as many people involved as we possibly can. Okay? We want everybody there who has any interest or any opinion as to what it should be done. What should be done with this building? We want there at this uh, public visioning meeting, if not before, but that'll be next spring. It won't be this fall, and it won't be this winter. This winter, they're planning, they're doing feasibility studies. Um, they're, they'll be sending out uh, questionnaires, and we'll have informational meetings where we're looking for a general sense of what the public wants. Okay? Uh, we'll get more specific in the spring. I know I'm kind of, kind of haphazard. I'd, uh... I, think it, I think it covers the basis is that they're doing a feasibility study, limited input until the spring when yep. they, they will yep. reach out to the community for their input. But they will be asking for input through the feasibility study, okay. so but not through public do, meetings right now. When you say they're going to do tours, um, yes. what's the deal with that? Because before our insurance company... We're going to have to talk to Rhoda and everything's going to have to get there. They're going to have to get their stuff out of there. The school. No, I know, but before the insurance company didn't want they'll to make sure that it's safe. Any, they'll make sure that it's safe okay. any areas of any danger will be roped out that's what i wondered so, if they yeah. were roped and so would, there's just like yeah and i would imagine that would almost be on uh rare, rare. yes i would i would imagine it would be on them that would be their insurance they would have an insurance policy for that site you know, I'm sure it wouldn't be on the town to yeah. make well, sure. Well, no, no, because that's not true. Because that one of the things they are asking for is our liability clause. On our I was going to say, yeah. I yeah. doubt they're holding the insurance okay. on that. No, okay. Not yet. Not yet. Do you have a question? I do. Okay. Okay. How do you do? Hi. I think to speak better. Um, my name is Bernadette Early, and I brought along, we came together, Diana Capsi. And I'm not going to really give you my opinions about it because you want it in the spring. So I have more questions and opinions right now. Um, when you speak about the public, do you, what does that mean? Um, public opinion, or does it is it strictly just for um, Bakersfield residents? Is it Franklin County? Is it the state of Vermont? How do you how do you? Decide? Well, if it's going to be used as a retirement 
community home. Uh, yes, it will mostly impact Bakersfield, but no, it will include outlying communities as well. Because it's the only thing that I'm familiar with, and I think this is not a suggestion, is my parents were involved in an old school and it was changed for a residential. And they had a criteria, they had different levels. And I don't know who decided that, whether it was the state, the town, because they did get federal and state funds. So I was thinking about how it all took place. But I've learned very little. I'm learning it sort of through rumors, what it might be used for. And um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to leave here tonight saying, well, I don't know much more than I did by the rumors. I wanted to know, like, is it in fact, in, are you all telling me that it is a fact of senior housing? But the input, I wasn't, I was a little confused by that statement. Um, for instance, there's a, uh, we're going to lose the gymnasium. And I'm sorry to see that go, but uh, uh, in order to make it uh, financially feasible, uh, it has to make some money. Uh, and, and in order to make enough money to run on its own, uh, we're going to have to have a certain amount of residences in this building. And to do that, we're going to have to split the gymnasium up. Uh, you're going to get the auditorium, right? The auditorium is staying. That happened at one of the other residential facilities. The, the, the plan now, uh, the historical yeah. preservation, uh, there's another word there, I'm sorry. Uh, anyhow, the Vermont Historical Preservation Council Committee, whatever, uh, has, and they have given funds for this building in the past, uh, for instance, the roof. Uh, they are insisting that the auditorium stays in at least one of the uh, grand staircases. Uh, the downstairs, are you familiar with the building? Only, only because I substitute taught quite frequently in Bakersfield. Okay. And I um, was always asking questions about the building because of my previous experience with parents okay. and family members. And so, so the big room downstairs uh, was uh, the study hall when I went there. Um, is going to be a, an open cafeteria, public meeting area. As, and that is a tentative plan for now. They were looking mm, between 30 and 40 units was what they were looking for. I looked all this up on the computer because I wanted to be a little bit more Okay, so you're familiar with this. A little bit. Okay. This is all subject to yeah. change okay. uh, as approved by uh, the historical preservation. So, council, whatever. so will there be will there be a company that runs this like Alliance or Joe Schmo's bill or whatever? I mean, Heidi Eichenberg's long term plan is to turn it over. Uh, she wants to obviously she won't do it and, and not make a penny, uh, but she's going to renovate the building, uh, make her fair share, and she's going to turn it over, and it will be a self sustaining. Uh, entity. However, uh, that's that's like well, North ideal. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of responsibility there. Type thing? It would be like a homeowners association. Wow. Uh, the way it was explained to us at first. Yeah, yeah there are. And it was said that, you know, I'm going back to like one of the first years I was on the, on the board, that there would be a, for lack of a better term, homeowners association that like a committee that could set you know the standards much the same as what you were talking about is like tiers so first priority on the units would be retiring Bakersfield residents yeah. and then you know the it would trickle down effect from there if it didn't fill um, that was the way it was first pitched I would say mm -hmm. um, but there again we're talking would they be for sale or for rent or both? The way it was explained is it was a rental. It would be rent. It would be a rental unit. Yeah. It would still belong to, the building itself would belong to an entity of the town. Mm -hmm. And they would be rented through, hopefully to be a self-sustaining unit. That was the way I interpreted it. 
don't take that to her. <laughs> okay. We were actually looking for someone like Cathedral Square to take over the general operations. Um, but Cathedral Square, at the, they approached us, and uh, uh, Melissa Southwick approached us, uh, Kathy LaVoy through the uh, Northwest Regional Planning Commission, and asked if, uh, you know, who was going to run it, and they were interested. But at the last minute, uh, Melissa said, thank you for reaching out and regarding uh, Brigham Academy. The team is uh, in the beginning stages of preparing for work for another grant, and uh, they don't have time to do it at this time my, resources. My, my feeling is, and I could be totally off base, but my feeling is with the housing crisis in Vermont and elsewhere, um, and especially for seniors, I, I was looking at statistics about seniors in this area with the next couple years are going to be 65 and older, and it's my understanding that there is a real shortage, and I, I, could, be, I could be very in, in an un, misinformed. So I would think that getting grants and funding, federal especially, would be coming through, am I just being too naive? No, that, that is the plan. Okay. Um, and, and Heidi Eichenberg is planning on that, okay. uh, hoping for that to make this project work. Okay. okay. She's not funding the entire project herself, uh, by no means. Uh, Bakersfield is doing their, uh, donating their part uh, in kind by the cost of the building was well, how much? Three. 365 stands in my 360, It's worth uh, $365,000. We're donating that to the cops. We're not looking for any funding for that. So. Well, you are all to be commended for your community especially, and then the, the Franklin County and the state of Vermont, given um, what the future looks like, really. I think it's getting worse than I've experienced in the past 20 years. And I think it's wonderful what you're doing, and I'm very interested, as is my friend Diana. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thanks for coming here. There's the email concerning the uh, uh, engineering service agreement uh, for the CWXRF. Um, and this is the state reaching out to Paul Dreher, saying, please submit a draft, and uh, we'll see what we can give you for money for the uh, clean water. Oh, so, nice. And that's the septic system. So, any other questions on that? I know I'm a little haphazard on that. I wasn't so as prepared as I should have been. The septic that's there today is not usable? Is that what you're saying with that? It's not connected. Oh, it's I mean, over there. There may or may not be a leach field under there. Uh, and if it is, it certainly wouldn't be adequate for 42,000. Units and most stone pet goes out in the bank, that would work, wouldn't it? That would, <laughs> yeah, that's what it used to have. <laughs> it's been an hour, right? What? 262. 262, okay. All right, but that's it's a quarter million dollars minimum that uh, oh, the town of Bakersfield is, is donating to the project. Um, I have a couple questions. Will this building be owned by the people of Bakersfield? Or will the government, federal government have some say as to how this is all handled and what procedures take place as far as the units, rent, renting of the units and... It all. is going to be run, the plan was that it is going to be run by a board of trustees and someone who can manage that. Mm -hmm. um, there have been several names uh, mentioned I haven't seen anybody qualified to do that on the <coughs> okay? That's why Cathedral Square was, when they offered, it was very attractive. They're extremely well qualified to handle a project like this. And it would be just the management part of it. They wouldn't own it, they just manage it. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, so Bakersfield would still own the building? No. No? No. Bakersfield is, is giving up the building so that the building may be saved. Okay. 
okay? If we don't do that at this point, we're going to lose the building. And we're more than willing to give it away for a dollar or sell it for a dollar rather than see it demolished. Another question is I'm, I'm sitting here because a friend of mine just bought a 138 acre farm in Hyde Park. Uh -huh. And the, the week that they bought it, two weeks later, it could have gone for 200,000 more. Yeah. So what the figure you're giving, I'm a little bit flabbergasted in a way. Have you been in the building recently? I haven't. No, it's, it's a bad shape. Um, the building has declined. And, and that's why I said, if we don't do something now, I we're see. going to lose it. I, okay. I was not an exaggeration. Okay. okay? Yeah. We could not. I say that, uh, yes, we're giving the building that's worth $265,000 away, but it's we couldn't get No, I was thinking you could get more money is what I was thinking. Oh. I wish. <laughs> I wish. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm a little bit naive at times, But we, we also have Sorry. to consider that uh, there is an elementary school in very close proximity to this. And we have to be careful what the building is going to be used for. And, and the in kind that we're referring to, the 262000 that is not a set in stone price. No. If, if the market goes up like it is right now and they see senior housing is going up, the people that are doing the construction could see a value of that building higher than that's what, what, that's what my yes. point and, and that's yes. that's yeah right. that's not set in stone that's good, just the good, good. Yeah, that's well what's the that's the appraised good. number that's on it at this point if we had to sell a building in order for them to use it it wouldn't be sold i see okay i get it so this way it's guaranteed that something good is going to happen it's not guaranteed, but it's looking very good. Okay. I'm not going to use those terms at yeah, this point. We've used those terms before, and it's all It's looking all good. <laughs> yes, it's looking better than it has. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do have a question now. Yes, Rosalie. Um, so I've been listening. Now, the school used to own it. The town used to own it. The school used to own it. Now the school, uh, now it's back to the town. If this project doesn't come through, you do the, the perk testing and the feasible studies, and it doesn't go through, this project doesn't happen, what happens to the building? Who owns it after all that happens? We do, we still own it. You still own it? Yeah. Even though you use it as in kind? Yeah, we have it. We have just used it at this point. That's, that was just to get this grant. Um, I mean, as much as I'd like to sit here and say this is going to happen, yeah. you know, in the spring of 2022, they're going to start planning construction and they're going to start spitting out job orders. Well, it's all contingent upon this feasibility study and the planning study and what they come up with, okay? and how much it's going to cost to put in a septic system, how much it's going to cost to completely rebuild the building's infrastructure. I, thought I mean, we have a shell, it. but we have nothing inside. We have no plumbing. Okay. We have no uh, Well, that's what I'm wondering, because the building HVAC, at one time was condemned we have no electricity. 100%. Well, how can you take something that's condemned 100%, pull it back around? It rejuvenated itself. $100,000. 20 years it rejuvenated itself. <laughs> I don't think it's ever. Like, we're planning. Yeah, I think we're, we're hoping on grants, and uh, this yeah. is probably going to be a minimum. The numbers have been bandied around, but no, people are hesitant to commit themselves. But it's going to be over three million dollars. Yeah, it's about three point two. That's about where we're at. So. The biggest thing will be that septic because you don't have a lot of land. Yeah. Wow. One thing I can guarantee, one thing I can guarantee, so there's plenty of room septic up front. <coughs> I, can, I can guarantee this, that if the town of Bakersfield has to pay that $3 million to renovate that, renovate that building, it will not be renovated. Oh, no, definitely not. I, it's a sad fact. Yeah. This community cannot afford that. So it will be... Um, 
when it all happens, if it happens, I'm going to pretend it's happened, it's going to happen, will the town won't own it, some other entity will own it, yeah. that will the town get taxes out of it? Yes. I'd be willing to defer taxes if, to, if they move in and renovate it and save it. I well, say that I say defer. I don't. I did not say eliminate them. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's there's still a lot of unanswered. There really is. Yeah, I'm just asking. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's um, a good question. I, that's I, not a board's opinion. That's Lance's. Just this is. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely correct. There are four other members, and they may disagree with me completely. But I would be willing, for one, I would be willing to defer taxes on that project. So I, I understood when she was at the beginning that we were signing it over for a dollar, she was doing the whole deal, and then they were going to sign it back over to the Board of Trustees of Bakersfield. Board of, board of Directors. Board of for Directors for, for Bakersfield. The, yeah, for, for the Bakersfield Residence Project. And right. you're the only Bakersfield resident, or there was going to be one Bakersfield resident on the board uh, or something? They wanted one Bakersfield resident on the board. I was asked if I would be on the Board of Directors. I have not committed, and that and that may not be. I, it may not be an option now. So, originally I was asked, and so was not Penny Goss. So, is that true that somebody here bought it? Nobody's bought it yet. Heidi Eichen, Heidi Eichenberg, yes. She does work in Canada, oh, okay. and her residence, I believe, is in Canada. Oh, okay. So, okay. She's also done work in Newport. They did a, a large project there. there she, the way she described it was very similar to this one, mm -hmm. around the same time frame and size. <laughs> so. And same amount of work inside. Uh, I don't know what her. I'm not sure how much work or how much time she'd spent inside at that point. Um, the crew she showed up with, I didn't think there was anything that that crew, you know, it looked like they could figure it out. You know, there was there was a lot more people there. Or there was people that were there had a lot more knowledge of structures like that. Yeah. And, than, than I did. Certainly than any of us here. They had, they had. Um, the, the, if, it, if it simplifies things, um, Heidi Eichenberg works in conjunction with Paul Dreyer. Um, Paul Dreyer is an architect. Uh, Heidi is into construction projects. They would build it for time and materials, okay? And some of their money funding as much as they could get and they were are both willing to work towards this is coming from grants uh, as much as possible they thought that this was a worthwhile project and almost all of it could be gotten from grants okay, so she's not doing it for free mm -hmm. it would be unreasonable for Anybody to do it for free, but uh, nothing for you. No, I, yeah. sorry. Um, Go for it. Years ago, if I remember right, I'm in that 66 age range. Um, really? Look older now. <laughs> Shut the camera off, please. <laughs> hey, Gary, I know where you live. <laughs> no, he's laughing now. <laughs> I think I've been here longer than he has. <laughs> Um, I almost, almost made me forget what I was going to ask. Um, the 30000 that we received in the grant for the roof, the slate roof. It was more than that. $100,000, was not it? It's on your floor. Okay. <laughs> that was to take off the roof? No, they replaced it with shingles. Yeah. They replaced it with shingles. Okay, so. That was on the school on it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't confuse me. No, she's right. I needed a dollar back then. <laughs> Okay, actually I did, I offered 20,000 for that building once. Anyway, um, okay, the, you said Lance that they actually 
have a say in what still stays? Who does? That one who gave the grant for the roof. Historical. The historical. Yes, the historical preservation. So they, they can say what part of the building. It's a it's it's the building is on the historical register. Yes. That's where they come in. Not because they gave the money, but because it's on the historical register. The way it was explained to me is the exterior will remain the same. The that is correct. To be amended. Yeah. Um, yeah, to, to a, a certain extent. degree. It's, it's, it's like Quincy. Maybe they say another Quincy. Yeah. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Paul Dreyer said that he could be available if there were questions that we couldn't answer tonight. So uh, he's sitting at home watching TV. He said he'd be watching Netflix. So. Yeah, he's. Well, you know, he could be. Wow. He's always bringing Canada to his family cares for sale. <laughs> or a million dollars. Okay. Oh, at this time, is there any other questions in regards to the Brigham residence update? Okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it was a little haphazard and we'll. There's nothing to do with Lance. <laughs> I know this isn't what you want to hear, but we're used to it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so on to roads. Still there? No, they're not all there. All right, so we're we're all done. moving up and over. It's all done except for the guardrail. Where, what did, I didn't hear the questions, right? Waterville. Waterville. Right. Whitney will be closed on the 27th for two weeks. He's hoping one week. But it's two weeks, and during that time, it will not be passable from <coughs> at, the point, <coughs> at the point of the culvert. I know you had a question. Now you're talking. So, well, where are you talking? Down by Harrowlands? Yeah. So, September, I see uh, Brendan put a thing on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, the, the, the 27th Monday is when, when they will dig. Now, you're talking the culvert. Before down before. the hill from Blake's, just past Avalox Drive. Yeah. Just, just no. to give. It's this side of Tony. Okay, so it's on this the other side. It's past Tony. Uh, so is that where Heather? 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 Just past Last Nation Road? Road? Yeah. Right. Right, right, right where they couldn't travel last year for or, mm. during the Halloween storm. For, so, like Tony, Tony Blake's, they're going to have to come Tony out to one of them. Huh? Tony would go out Fairfield. He can go out Fairfield. Everybody else is going to have to come this way. Okay. And that is closed 24 hours a day. Just to clarify, because yes. we have some questions on Facebook where we posted it. Um, and we just want to make sure that we're giving out the right information. That's closed, going that way from that hole. point. Big hole. hole. He's planning on digging it when he told me about hospitals. He's digging it on a Monday. He gives him a Tuesday and a Wednesday to. If there's anything you didn't see, ledge, anything else, then Thursday they set the culvert. Friday he backfills and could have it passable. Does but, this affect Lost Nation? Are they going to be able to come out and go to Fairfield, or are they going to have to come out one way? They'll be able to go either way. But Lost Nation. Lost, Lost Nation. Yeah, just, it doesn't affect it's Lost just Nation. Sure. Anybody besides Tony on the Whitney Road would have to go up to one way. Okay. Can you? Uh, Send me a note on that exactly because I'm going to post it up for you. Yep. And I'm yeah. curious, there's also a logging operation that's going to start the next few yeah. days up in there. And he would have to. He yeah, would have to. He's go. got to come out this way. Well, that'll be oh, a little bit bummed coming off on one way. Just post it on the front page. Of that, the yeah, you better be going north. Uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, better be going north? Yeah, by mm -hmm. first down. He won't be able, the logging truck won't be able to make that turn and he'd to go on, south on 108. And he'd be on the northbound lane for way too long. Mm. Yeah. 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 Hang right that up. Crest. Yeah. It's tough. Um, and he definitely can't come out the other way. No. Well, oh, he's, he wouldn't anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we just he's closed the road here. <laughs> <laughs> and go past the bridge and he'll be done yet. Gotcha on that one. <laughs> you don't want to sign up for oh, that Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. That was another he's, question. Gary, um, are we in the 50s now? Sure, I think so. I would assume he's going to put signs up this time better than he did the last time. That's what I was told. Can we, do we have anything? Like a 
a, a notice sign or a, any sign that we could put there that would have the dates on it that we could put out ahead of time. Yeah. Just an advance notice? <laughs> I, 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 I would rather put something up there and have somebody be like, well, why don't you tell me that? It's two weeks away. Yeah, then I understand. What if they get a roll close and just put a date underneath that? Yeah. If, if we could do that and just put it, you know, just, just, just out of the Well, usually they do. Most towns do that. Well, yeah, they do. they'll have a yeah. sign up. They'll say road will be closed. Da 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 da. -da. Do we need to put anything in the paper? I, I don't know. I maybe pull the maybe pull the addresses of uh, maybe pull Tony Haverlock's address and say Whitney Road will be closed from this address east and from this address west. That one runs east to west, right? I don't think you can put the name on it, can you? No, just the address number. No, yeah. I'm saying pin pin Tony's house. Yeah, I agree. You know. <laughs> I mean here in Bakersfield, we use names, but you know. Yeah. I um, might be looking for you. <laughs> does that, would you make that happen? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, right. got to make sure we reach out to the emergency personnel. Yeah, the we got to be in advance. This is the, all the emergency vehicles, the school bus, the mailman, we've been told he has to do that period in advance because that's a different situation in the world out there. Okay. Um, are you, do you want to reach out to the, the school bus or I can do that? He, you can do it, but he is to do that. That's the oh, okay. okay. That's what Scott's They're going to take care of that. Can he probably get hold of the bus? Scott, 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 That's what he did up here. He did, he did take care of that. He just didn't give us like a negative day. That's the day. Um, oh, okay. start. Job contract with the Paul Jairs. You. Any other others? Any complaints, concerns? <laughs> well, if anyone's looked at Facebook, there's a ton of complaints. That's where you're going to get your road <laughs> trimming on. <laughs> so, where are we with this road yeah. trimming, mowing? I don't know. Do you want me to stop fixing mud holes or for the spring, or do you want me to? Well, there's three of you, so maybe one. Could... No, it doesn't work that way. Right Why? One's in the excavator, two are drawing stones and drawing dirt out of the road. Yeah. It doesn't fix itself by one person or two people. And one but person, I thought we already did the mowing, so I'm we confused. We did the mowing because apparently some people have problems with some trees on the side of the road. They can't see coming out of their driveway. Which if it was me, I'd cut a few trees on the side of my driveway. But apparently some people don't think of it that way. And apparently, I, I mean, I'm not on Facebook. I haven't read all the good things that came down this afternoon. But I've had one person threaten to resign on the, on the uh, crew already. Because this is just pure, you know, no other towns are like this. And I talked to somebody from Berkshire and I talked to somebody from Enos, that was working in Enosburg last Friday, and he said there's no difference. No difference at all. And what? Uh, no difference in what, though? Rush wise, wise, yes. They both have the, the long arm mowers and the greater, and they take care of that problem. But as far as. Yeah, and for another year, we have discussed. Yes. Renting a tractor, uh, but it's not going to happen. Does that the unit we have? Does that? Quite honestly, I don't like the way Enosburg's roads look when they go oh, through. Oh, I hate that. that. I'll chop the pieces. They basically take a brush hog and tip it on edge and use that to deal in. It looks terrible. I mean, I feel like some of the people are not. There. We're not mm -hmm. all Bakersfield residents, but they not. travel some of our roads, and they're saying the that. Uh, there's yeah. the wildlife is not. Yeah, well, we, they're doing you know, 50 miles an hour down a 30 mile an hour road too. I mean, it's not 30 miles an hour. Well, if they would go down down by Dave Jacob, they're doing 50 or better down that road. Right? I, but yeah. it's not a 30 mile an hour road. And I'm saying, on the conditions of the road, we should be doing 50 anyways. I, nobody said anything about the speed limit. They're worried about yeah. not being able to yeah. see. I've been here for 30 years, and I mean, they haven't changed much. And I just I live people, on a main road, so. Yeah. I mean, people. I, are, I just think people are coming from out of the. What's good? People are moving from the city into here, and they don't like. I well, mean, well they like it in the fall, and they take their <laughs> pictures, and the trees go like this. <laughs> I don't. Know. So, um, 
I mean, I, I but one way or the other, question. they're still taxpayers, and we and the taxpayers we need to, understand to do better. Where the biggest part of their taxpayer money goes to? It's not the roads. That was that you was know. one of the concerns I had. Oh, I know it's not the roads. Okay, they get. It I know it's head. not the roads. You know, I mean, I heard we didn't get credit for cutting the trees down here, and I was told that night at the thing by one of those two people that leave the stumps high, I'm going to cut them down, dig down, and take care of that thing. They're still sitting there. It's been over a month. Now, you know. Well, you've got credit for it. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you get credit call, for the stumps being high. Yeah, yeah. the comment <laughs> was, <laughs> the, <laughs> was <told laughs> the comment was, they'll come do the rest of that road when they finish this job. Uh, and that I. Wasn't, that wasn't the one yeah. that started it, was it? No. Because that's the one that told me, leave them high. Well, those are all signed too. Yeah. Um, so I guess my point is, we bought equipment. What we bought? We bought it. I thought we bought more. It is. Well, we can't. We can't cut trees with it. They mulch trees. So, they mulch so grass. So we can cut trees with it. What are you trying to show me? It's a. This is navigating North First Region plan, but she's all for Brigham. Well, what's this got to do with price cheese in China when I'm trying to talk about something else? But you John John that right there. Oh, dear Lord. So my point being is that we did buy equipment. Obviously, the equipment we bought can't do everything. But when we were working on the mowing piece, why didn't we do some of the trimming piece? Even if it meant doing it by hand. We do and trim. Maybe not. Just because we didn't do that particular spot does not mean we're not trimming. Every summer we cut brush. All three of us have chipper, the whole works. Maybe not in that place. We were over by Lance's last year, we were on Witch Cat last year. I mean Oh, oh no, so Lance Lawyers is fine. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mine gets flopped first too. I've, been, I've seen where Lance lives, I didn't see any brush here. <laughs> of course not. I hope. <laughs> I don't like people I mean, like recognize no sarcasm. Oh, right. so how did there's no? Oh, that's not me. They turned up my way. So we did lawyer road. Uh, and we did. Games. Yeah, over by domes. You might go too, didn't you? We did by domes. We did. We skip around and try to hit the worst places. And let me just tell you, address one other thing. The last time we cut on on the Kings Hill Road, we told we were told we cut too much because. Grandpa George was going to go in the ditch because there were no more trees there. He was guiding <laughs> And you can tell me where that one came from. Mm. It was Grandpa George. He's not with us anymore. I mean, that's no reason we're not cutting up there, but that's you know, that little section they cut, I don't think was a public safety matter. There's a lot worse places in town than that. I have not been up to see this beautiful job, but I'm sure I'm sure it's perfect. Well, I don't know either. Sure. I just know that a lot of people came on saying, well, our road hasn't been done either, and our road hasn't been yeah. done either. Tell me who they are. I'll tell you if they're telling me the truth or not. One was King Road. King Road, not King's Hill. King, we've been on King Road in the last couple of years. I mean, I'm not going end to end, but. One comment was 10 years. On King Road, I believe. On King Hill, I think it was. I guess that would depend on which part of King Hill. If it was past Partridge's, I would. That's possible. Oh, yeah. And the other thing is, there's not a whole lot of trees on the King's Hill Road. There's that one little spot. You got meadows on both sides. You got a farm. You got all those houses, and then you go up the hill. I mean. I actually had two complaints on King Hill Road. King Road. What is the deal with, did we put new on top of the hill or something? Did we try we to some, do pop We put we we some reclaimed blacktop in those ruts. And it didn't work? Is that what happened? Well, I thought it worked pretty good. Go up there on top of the hill right there. Yeah. Fine. I, I, go, I go there, cross over every night. I haven't even been up there. I'm, it's better with a walk. It was rough. I didn't say it was rough. You couldn't go across yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah. 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 So that's on East Vegas Hill Road. No, King that's all we're not well, I don't come in that end. I was coming. Oh, in right, gently. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Right there where the apron went across. Okay, yes. The black got all broken up. Awesome post was on. <laughs> Sorry, Lance. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah
What was the complaint of the Boston Post? The, the um, brush. no trimming, the brush. Okay. Where? Would be, it have to be the only spot we have trees. Well, I the think golf it's course by the golf course because I almost had a car hit me the other day, and I think it's because he didn't see me. Where is this? He was on the wrong side of the on road. On the golf course. No. Or you were on the wrong side of the road. No, I was coming towards Bakersfield. He was coming off Ivan Stone's. Ivan Stone's side was pretty clear. If they, if they stopped at the end of their driveway. And then, and then, I mean, I travel uh, that road quite regularly. I'm just telling you. No, it's no, I, I understand. And we can sit here and pretend it's not. But it is because here's you know again we've got an excavator rented for a month Terry so it's not happening in the next month after that when things cool down yeah we do we got the same pile three quarters up right now that's when we usually cut brushes for fall and you know in between times. <coughs> now financially I agree with Matt it doesn't make sense to split the crew up when we have an excavator that we've rented for a month and, and to make that excavator what are we doing with the excavator? Sorry, We're that. doing trench drains and ditching and some call replacement. And from a safety standpoint, there's no way in hell I would put somebody out running a chainsaw by, by themselves. Absolutely not. And where, where are we doing that? We started up just east of the Snipe Farm. We've been up to the two holes that we did by Murphy's. Uh, let's see, today's Monday. By the end of the week, we'll be. We'll up by the sniper by the Joyle Farm. We're working our way down the Joyle Road to any place that had a mud hole or that needed ditching. Then we're going to go out Butternut. We're going to go up the top of Core Farm. Then we're going out the Core Farm to as far as Steel's where that big hole was. Yep. What placing the culvert out there. Then we're going to move to uh, Basswood to hit that hill where it was bad last. Just, spring. just, just below Brands. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and then we're moving over to the Lost Nation. Um, actually, there's a spot on the Whitney Road, and then two spots by on the Lost Nation Road above Ross Allen's, at which time we will be completely covered by BJ's that needs to have a replacement. Um, the ones that we did, um, the brands were kind enough to give us some big stone for are those getting trench drains too. By uh, Murphy's. Just the side uh, well, of loans? Yeah, You're done. yeah, sorry, I didn't realize that was a burnt deal there too. I thought you were talking well, about being out here with Palmer. Yep, okay. No, those are done. Okay. The other side of the job. <laughs> the other side of it. <laughs> we got two in front, but just the side, uh, just the other side of Brenda's, we did those two by Terry Malls, I'll oh, say. And okay. then, we, then we're heading up the hill, the Joyal Hill, to hit that long one just from. Okay, yep. And then there's one or two the rest of the way up the Joyal. Yeah. Mac, when you do ours on Joel, <coughs> remember we talked last year with Lance oh. and you and whatever, are we going to put in the culvert to go down the side so it doesn't go into my meadows anymore? Uh, Josh, you were there too. Yeah, I'm sure. Refresh my memory. Which slide are we talking? Uh, Stonehouse side of the farm? Okay. <coughs> From the landowners to update, call, upsize the culverts because that's going to put more water down under them and whether they want the water or not. Well, we already had the engineers there, I think. That, you know, the, from the state or whatever government came. I've already spoken to uh, John, whatever his name, can't think of his West, and Brenda, or not Brenda, but Deborah, and they said they didn't have a problem with that. But does he understand it's going to put more water on it? It goes to the big culvert, which is a, kind of a brook. And that was the culvert before that. And there's a ledge between there and the big culvert. There's just the side of the little driveway that goes out that camp. There's a drive, there's a culvert right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's not a big culvert. That's a little culvert. That's the one down by depths. There's right. another one between there and your property. A small one that goes across. <laughs> there we go. So you're talking. Across the house from the stone house, but before uh, Rob Toy's camp driveway. Just before Rob Toy's, yes. Okay. And that would, those two drive, those two culverts must pretty much end up in the spot, don't they? I mean, it's just ones ahead of the driveway. No, the, 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 drive. one, the one on this side of Rob Toy's would go down on the whatever, what used to be Wendell's. West. That was, yeah. That okay. was the one out okay. there. 
If it went past that through route toys cut culvert, and then it would go between Wendell's old driveway and uh, Deb's, I'm assuming it's Deb's. I'm just going to pull up the agency and natural resources map just so I can look through. Not that we don't believe you, I just can't picture it back as well. No, the, no, the big culvert is just, just this side, of the, between Wendell's old driveway and Deb's. Okay. Is a, is a three foot culvert, I think. Okay. But as far as, so you're talking, roughly, you're talking about uh, ditching the uphill side to get it. Adam and Bills. Out of the field. I'm, I'm losing use of those fields. I mean, it's no different than it's ever been there, roughly. Those culverts have been there longer than I've been there. I don't know, but the road was raised almost three feet between the barn and the house. But that water doesn't go that way. No, but it can't go anywhere. That, that will be addressed probably during the rest of this week. There'll be ditches. I'm, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. There, there'll be ditches. There'll be from like where Junior used to park his tractor toward the Sugar House, and then from the Sugar House road down through, there will be ditches. And so that will, whatever we need to do. That will cure it then. That will take it from the field down to the culvert. Until the ditch is filling again. It'll take it to the culvert that's going across that she's concerned about now. It's going into the field. Okay. As long as I know which way the field water is not supposed to be going here. Yeah, We're losing between 25 and 30 bales out of that pasture from metal. And it's sixty-five dollars a bale. That's pretty expensive. Expensive for me. Of course, now I'm not milking, but I still hay. As I say, the water's always going there. Yeah, I think so. The more problem is, is there's a culvert here that is dumping it over into this field here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I thought I took Brenda, Josh, and Lance over there to show you. No, I, I looked at the property. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that would be. How would you? Let me see. Let me see. That's for the. Just for the river and lands. Oh. Alright. So that all goes yeah. this way. Yeah. Um, this one, I guess you see that over the plate. I'd be willing to. <laughs> uh, Josh? Yep. I'd be willing to fill in that particular yeah, culvert and put a culvert where it goes to the sugar house and have it go no, down the side like the other does. Buy Rob Toys. Take right. it out of my field. But again, the problem is we don't have to say if you say west, then it's west property. Yeah. There's going to be at least a three foot culvert there. No, that's, that's past that road. There's one What's this that? side of there. The side of the road is a culvert across the road. Okay. Well, I'm, I had the NRCS up there with a couple of engineers, and they were saying that there's three culverts that are running into my fields, which is something that probably shouldn't be going on. Where's that? Mm -hmm. Where the three culverts, the one right in front of that we're trying to drain the mud hole has been there forever. The big one down in the middle of Doyle Hill, which has been there forever, that runs, yeah. And if the NRS wants to try to give us money to fix this problem, then go for it. And you're talking. They just do suggestions. So they see the situation it's because we're trying to prevent. Soil erosion and loss of use on I fields that. for the so, farmers. So if you want to save the town about five thousand, twenty thousand dollars, probably dig a ditch away from the culvert where it goes across the road right now. That would be the far cheaper option than to put a culvert across your, your driveway. Up, so, uh, take out the culvert that obviously goes into Wendell's and blast the ledge, and then do a hydraulic study on that thirty inch to see if it's going to take all the water from your fields down there. You just can't. You can't just replace the 30 inches. You're talking hydraulic study then. Yeah. If it was a two footer, you could just replace it 30 well, inches. But the problem is, if you put the metal, metal water from the top of the rise by the house all the way down through there, I don't think that 30 inches is going to take it. 
you know, because you've got a you got a stream there, you got a cross pipe before that, and you got the cross pipe between the sugar house road and the tractor shed. I'll call so it. between the tractor, the tractor shed, I want to call it, and the barn on the wood side, the opposite side of the barn, that ditch is going to be dug so that the water goes back down the road like it used to. Side of the road. It's going to go through the culvert like it used to, yeah. Color that was plugged there that we replaced a couple years ago. So this go so yeah, so it goes to this point here, crosses, and the, the easiest, the simplest solution is a drainage ditch here. Yeah. That would remove all the water from both this side where it seems to be bubbling and where it seems to be getting wet right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, have you had a hydraulic study done? Is that what they... No. No, all right. But they're going to talk with you guys, or Mac or whoever. So at this point, Mac, you're ditching from, we'll call it the tractor shed, down to the uh, sugar house. Yeah. And that's all coming to the cross pipe that's at about the middle point right there. Yeah, it's more so is it, slight, is it sloping like this? Very little of the sugar house goes back to the pipe, I would say. Most, okay. of, it, most of it comes down the sugar house road and goes out the road. And, okay. the road. Okay. and then everything from the sugar house driveway down to the edge of the field is caught by the smaller culvert and then everything in the woods with the existing group is handled by the bigger culvert. The bigger culvert that actually carries a stream. Okay. Which is stream? What I did is I can actually um, get somebody, I've got videos of when it was raining the hard times a couple of times back where the water actually comes from where it goes. Um, so I can send that to you so you can actually see what, visualize what it's doing. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I, I, I did. Something just told me to record it. That's a very high voice. That's a lot of water. Between the sugar house driveway and the garage. You know, the thing I can say, Rose, that it's coming off your property, you go back onto your property where it's always gone. I'm sorry, but... You're not dropping any to fix it really all right. Yeah. Water and volume is an insidious thing. It's going to go where it darn well wants to go. It can be changed if you throw enough money at it. Well, you can look at it. I just don't want loss of use. And that's what's happening. It's always been like that, Rosalie. It's no new law of loss of wood. You lose. I cannot put a new culvert in a road without asking permission. But I can replace old culverts and I can, because they've been there since. Well, the four me. And I don't know, let you upsize one that's already 30 inches without a water study. So. Maybe you guys can come and look at it again sometime. Because it's not a 30 inch. Cold. Down by Debs? Excuse me? Down by Debs, is it? No, where I'm, where I'm talking about. My okay, but issue. if you put all that water down to Debs, you're going to have problems really with it. That all the way down is 30 inch. That's the one he's talking about. The biggest one. He's talking about the road crossing here. Yes. Lance. He's talking here. It's a brook. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not like it's somebody's But you just told me how much water is coming off your field and going into your field. If I put all that water down to that 30 inch culvert plus all the water down through the, shield, the sugar house and everybody else will land down through there, you're going to be stressing out that culvert because it goes out. Natural flows right toward you. Right towards the back side of the tractor. Yeah. 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 If all that water is bothering your field, imagine what it's going to do. It's not going to be a little bit of 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 a little
Yeah, ledge. Yeah, for sure. Wasn't that the pond you were complaining about filling in? Excuse me? Wasn't the pond up there across the road, wasn't that the one you were complaining was filling into? Down towards the end of Joel Road. Down toward the end? Yeah. yeah. The barn down the hill. Okay. Yeah, I'll fill yeah. in the gravel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So next, if there's no others on the road, we have that one area. Um, we have a building use permit for the Bakersfield Republican Caucus. We approved the Independent Caucus, I believe, three meetings ago. Something like that. Um, and I'll have a Democratic Caucus one for you. Okay. In all fairness, I make a motion that we accept the Republican Caucus use permit for September. No, yes, September 18th, 4.30 to 5.30. Where is it? Right here. Right here. It's going to be here? Yeah, that, it's building use for it. Comes here. Here. <laughs> so, motion yes. made by Josh, seconded yes. by Brenda. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Aye. Two vote. okay. I'm going to sign Heck this yeah. as the authorized individual. Do you, you want to sign this? Sorry, I didn't. Thank you for asking. There's that one. Oh. We already did this one. <laughs> Not this one. I'm just making sure. Um, yeah, yeah. I, knew, I knew what it was. I was just trying to figure out what this was. So here we have an applicant for the zoning administrator position. Um, I'm going to assume that you are stepping out of this communication. Yep. Okay. That makes a motion that we accept this applicant's what was it? application. <laughs> what did we find out yes. about no. being on the board and? There's no, no problem with that. And we found that out for sure? It's in the garage. Oh, I'm so trapped. I'm on the board. <laughs> oh. uh, it can be a conflict because it's a false and important. Well, right, and that, that's where the conflict would be, I would think. Mm -hmm. So the administrator remains neutral. Sure. Oh. Incompatible offices. It was the first thing I've ever looked on for this site and found it that way. The, the legal studies, and I've called them twice and they have not called me back. Okay. You have to give a message select to person. them to call you. A select person cannot be an auditor. They can be a select person. They cannot be the town manager. Uh, they, they cannot be the treasurer. Um, they cannot be an elected official or candidate of Australian ballot. And they cannot be a trust they can be a trustee of the library. Let's see here, can we find See zoning on here. Is it? That's chair one of one. I am more than happy to turn this over to somebody else to look yeah. at. So I am not doing all the interpretations myself. You want me to make that bigger? Got my good glasses. There you go. <laughs> the reason I I'm at, I wanted to ask them about it was because there's pain involved in this. And there's pay involved in being a select board, and you're already doing the do so it's like double dipping yeah, well, because you're already doing the duties of this position by being on the, the select board. The, that'd be like saying you couldn't get paid for being the dog catcher, right? If the, the, the duties board. of the that's two completely different hats, yeah. That's two different, no, it's not. Well, this is two different hats. No, 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 it's not. You're still, that's what you are as a select board. As Most well. of the duties of the zoning board are going to lie outside of two down, meetings. You guys can vote. Two, two meetings a month. So, Say that again. The, the duties of the zoning board administrator fall outside of the two meetings a month that are required in the select board. Yeah. Although I wish I only did two meetings a month. This is. This is the That's what we're supposed to find out. Well, and what I'm telling you is this is the one that they give you. This is the chart of incompatible 
You know, you can vote on it. You're, I'm, I'm good with you guys doing it. I'm just abstaining from it. Okay. Motion stands. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Two votes. <laughs> so pass three to zero. Three to three two abstain. No, three, 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 three to zero. Three to zero. zero. Two abstain. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Unless somebody else wants a position and we've advertised it. And don't have a another application. I thought they said we did, but never came. They, they never no. came. So Brenda, if you're going to be running, this morning, somebody built a camp up on the way around. The guy that took a long driveway in. Uh -huh. I that was the main that I heard. I've been out there already. It needs 400 foot of frontage. I don't think he has it. It's only 20. Well, no, it's just locked. It's a it's a it's a pre that's just locked. So I don't think you have to go with that. Because all the locks are five acres up to there. Yeah. Gary, yeah, sit back and don't worry about that stuff. We don't worry about that stuff. <laughs> but I don't think it's a pretty good law. I guess we need a permit to build a camp. I'm not going to worry about it. There's another one. You worry there. about Gary Denton's law, okay? No, that's fine. Okay, then. Bill will try to steal it. <laughs> Talking to them, uh, I will default. Well, good luck getting hold of them because I've had three questions for them and they will not call me back. Um, twice yeah, the I, I, I have the same complaint. I, I haven't had uh, persistent. I haven't had good luck for them returning. Right. No. The other guy that they gave me the name of, what was so his name? No, yeah. Garrett? Yeah, we're going to documentation documentation. Brenda, who do you talk to down there? Ted. Brady. Mm -hmm. He's the executive director. Was it Garrett? Is there a Garrett there? Was that a, was a seven or eight lawyers? Lawyer. I've talked That's to Ted Brady, and most years. recently I talked to Keith Buckley. Yeah, I see when they were Because that Garrett, he yeah. called me right back every I mean, time I called him. I don't care what no, Garrett Before you start plowing, I have not been able to get to him. He's always so good. And he's for sure as well. That time he's there, but it's the worst thing. I think it's all truck phones down there. All right. Then work work for later. All right, so other. Because I don't have anyone answering the phone right now. You have to leave a message. I look at what you're talking about. The extensions, so which are. So that the the extensions are in here yeah. as well. They got it in the corner. No, I didn't look at the camera. I just looked at the legal system. What's up? 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 Baxter, uh, G Baxter, uh, org. Yeah, what's his number? That's the one I want to talk to. Oh, it doesn't give it? Of course, the extensions are done. No, no, not the one. I'll get permitted permit to build a camp. Hey, we're following the parrot. Yeah, I know, we're just trying to find that. I'll get the access to it. There you go. Okay, so next on the agenda. You just gave it a laptop. Yep. It's right there. <laughs> right the mail. The outside audit. We just did. Okay, What's I know one. outside audit? No, I don't know. Yeah. Next would be American, American Rescue, Rescue Plan. ARPA, which okay. we kind of got the update from. No, we did. Oh, okay, we did. We're going to work out here for a second. All right. So I gave her a computer. I see all of them. No. <laughs> All right, from an ARPA update, um, we'll start with the big numbers. 
they gave us uh, another 129,000 approximately, which so puts us at uh, 198,486 dollars and 88 cents. Say that again. Yeah, I can give you those later, but it's one one nine eight four eight six dot eight eight. Okay. I think this will be the total amount that we have. Um, my first report for that amount is due on the 31st of October. Um, and I reviewed with the uh, admin, uh, the person who is running the ARPA information from the League of Cities and Towns. Her name is Kate Buckley. Uh, I reviewed my plan to roll this out for the town with a first informational meeting in November, second informational meeting in December, and the third and last one before town meeting so that everybody has a clear understanding of what the, what the money can and can't be used for. The um, informational meeting, the first one that we'll have, Kate will come and present uh, information from the League of Cities and Towns. Uh, Jamie Morby from the Callis General Store, which is a cooperative store serving a much smaller population than Bakersfield, will come and talk to us as well as maybe uh, their uh, admin associate or the person who runs the store. They also have a, a bar attached to it, which may or may not make a difference. <laughs> they, have, they have, well, it's actually, a, a, it's called the Whammy Bar and they do have entertainment there on weekends. So it's kind of, <laughs> kind of Wait, interesting thought. Are you saying this money would fund that co-op? What money would fund the co-op? No, 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 money. It's, it, we're talking about producing a co-op model, and I think I just jumped off something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped off the Arpa Bridge. You jumped off the Arpa Bridge. You jumped off the Arpa Bridge. Let's go back. Okay, no, I know. No, no. <laughs> Arpa <laughs> money. Sure. I yeah. may or may awesome. not be involved with that. Yeah. Uh, I was following you real well there for a second. Then we we made her and left. There. Yeah, we did. Oh, thank you. No. Okay, but, so we don't have where Kate Buckley's yeah. coming to the informational meeting. Yeah. And there's a call. Jamie, Jamie Morby is coming as well. Jamie Morby. Okay. Yeah, that's the big thing. That's important. For the Arthur Funds. <laughs> Huh? We don't have the data, <laughs> yeah. but we've got the money, it's earning interest, and I have my first report to do October 31st. Mm -hmm. And there's still more studying to do on this, but in the meantime, I'm not, uh, not taking a paycheck yet to do that. So the November will be informational? November, December, November and December will be informational, um, and then we'll do a wrap-up uh, just before town meeting. So. Anything we trying to incorporate with town meeting? I'm Is sorry, that I'm sorry. Anything that we'd be voting on, we're going to try to incorporate on our town meeting? Yeah, we actually have to have that. From a transparency standpoint, um, what we're going to do in the meetings is pretty much let people know what they can and can't do with that money. Mm -hmm. And look at what we can get for the bank for the buck. I figure we'll get a list of people's wish lists at the first meeting. At the second meeting, we'll go down through and, and maybe pick out the top ten things the we want to spend it on, and then we have to warn that, and that'll be the last meeting, and we'll warn it appropriately for town meeting, uh, and then people will get to vote on it. Would it be us or the ballot? I don't know. If it is, I think it would determine when we need to have that list finalized by. Right. Yeah, it's going to be mid. 30 days or 45 days. We're right, we'll hold to get it on the ballot at all. Yep. For printing purposes. Yep. Right. Uh, did, did you, were you able to research uh, whether or not it could possibly be used for Britain? Uh, um, I haven't gotten, I haven't drilled down that far yet, mm -hmm. but it has to be, it has to be a COVID related um, reason. So let's say the general store went out of business mm -hmm. because they didn't have business. Right. And despite whether it was poorly managed, it happened during that time period. It didn't work. And there may, be, there may be funding available for that. Okay. So uh, if Brigham had incurred a loss during COVID, because of COVID, then it would be one of those things that may be in there. One of the things that we've been approached by companies that are popping up is to digitize all the town records because COVID kept people from coming in on a regular basis. And yeah, and if we don't, 
go that route, we're going to have to increase our storage for. Correct. Correct. So well, you need you need hard copies anyway. Digitalizing just makes them more accessible. Yeah. You still need hard copies. The hard copies. So we still get to come up with more. Yeah, storage. Yeah. What it would cause us to do is to actually put in place something that Kathy oh, mentioned today, days. which is a revenue <laughs> generating system, so that people could use their credit cards. Um, to be able to paper stuff online because they would be getting records online mm -hmm. and uh, that would actually add revenue and drive revenue um, quickly and more easily mm -hmm. and make more records accessible to people. We don't so, even take the credit card yet, so. Yeah. Well, there's costs on that. It's, in Those, <laughs> it's not cheap to run a credit card. No, I know, but you lose money because that's a digitalizing way. records without some kind of, yeah, most, right? Most oh, farmers and farmers have figured out how to do that with a very simple device to scan credit cards. It's just a step to be able yeah, to put that Yeah, and you just, I mean, there's in. like the surcharge yeah. of what we're being charged. And they get charged. We charge oh, it all. It's not a charge around to, to cover. That's right. You'd have to, because it's not cheap to run a charge card machine. No, but it's... It's 3%. It's rare as heck. There. <laughs> it can be if you want it to be. It doesn't mean it has to be. We just got rid of ours because it costs so much. At Green Mountain Power? No, at the dairy center. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Gee, I keep paying mine. No. Oh, um, yeah. It's all set So let's go with ARPA. Go with ARPA. All right. Guys got questions? Outside. Yep. Um, inside audit, Jerry. Which one of those? You said you reached out to Jason. Jason. But I haven't got a. Uh, and I left. I sent a message today again. Okay. I left, he wanted some stuff left off him, so I left it off. Okay. But he has not got back with any information back. Okay. Do, they don't, I, earlier I said something about maybe having Tammy send an email. Just yeah. maybe if it's coming from a couple I different I left him a text tables. message today, but. Do you have an email for him? I do not. I've been texting him because I have his phone Just number. Just text him and ask him what What's his What's the company he works for? Uh, Paish. I just got that. Damn. <coughs> I did reach out to somebody too as a federal. For which, for the what's outside his, audit? What's his tax number? All of our audit leads. Uh, Town of Huntington has uh, Bob and Kibbles, Seagale, Se and Valley. He's located in Montpelier. Uh, I do theirs and they do a number of governmental audits and they get reputation. I can't turn the audio off during that exchange, just so you know. You did? I cannot. You cannot. What exchange? Oh, are you giving out someone's number? Oh, she can just no, write it I'm down. not giving her his number. Okay. Well, how am I going to text him and contact him? I'm trying to get you his email, but I can't get a text to go through because I don't have service. I'll get it to you tomorrow. Okay. You're going to text to me? Okay. Do you have my number? No, I'll call you here tomorrow. Are you going to be here? No. Okay. I will need your phone number after. Okay. Give it after. And that's an outside. Yeah. Okay. And they have experience in governmental audits. Our phone number is on the web page anyway. I know. No, she wants Jason. Jason. Because I looked for it. Okay. So you're good with that? That's mm -hmm. about as far as the paper was on it. AM Pipe. How do you say AM? A -M. And I think it's P I E E R E. I just tried Googling it and I couldn't spell it. <laughs> 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 uh, let's see, I think it's A M. P I E. S C M, something like that. It's, a, it's in St. Albans, mm -hmm. base? It's right on. Congress Street. Congress Street, not Conger, Congress. And which? P E I S C H. S C H. P E I S C H. P E I S C H. I was on P E I S C H. That's what I was Theirs is. He doesn't have an account there or email on there. 
So he had, so you haven't talked to him about doing the January present? No, both. Okay, good. So he was doing he yeah, was if you want to just what are you saying to me? Uh I don't know, can't think of that that drawer right there. And you gave because he yeah, I already brought it to him. Okay. I believe it's the report he did they did back in January. Yep. 2013 maybe? Oh, two thousand. Oh, you're talking about the outside audit. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, for the outside audit, got it. Okay. okay. Yeah, was... So yeah, I mean, I guess if you're both dealing with Jason, maybe he'll see you. Yeah, we're in earnest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it just never hurts to poke. Um, did we not do, I feel like we've done the road commission job yeah, description. No. You kept posting it because there were enough people. Okay, that's, that's good to know. So, League of Cities and Towns actually has... Let me see, where is it?
this period? I don't think so. What's the name of it? What's his name? No, you get called. Uh, I have it done, but can't do it from here. Alright, I can't do that though. Let's see. So that we had your brain out of my hydrate. Excuse me. We still got one fan. <laughs> Is it your intention uh, to ask that we model our job description after pop threat or adapt it to? I was just, Chinese. there was one here that looked like it had everything that it covered. Yeah, like I can find it now. This is the one I had right here. Assisting the road crew, including truck drivers, laborers, and equipment operators. The position is also responsible for road construction, maintenance, scheduling, coordinating, and supervising the work performed on town roads. Uh, the road commissioner is also is responsible for various administrative duties as required to oversee the work of the department, including payroll records and budget oversights. Work is performed underneath the general guidance of the select board, but requires the ability to work independently. Following established procedures, routines, all positions entail extensive public contact. And then there's sounds like road board position. It's it's very similar, but just basically says that you're for this, Fairfax. It's not this person would be supervising the road foreman. Right, that's what Fairfax is, is too. Your old commissioner. Which is real easy to do if they're the same person. Right. And I figured that's probably what this town would be. Actually, small you can't. Why? If you read your foreman. Where's the foreman one that you just did? On my computer somewhere. Uh, what do you do with that? Thing? We put in there that you can't be the road commissioner. Oh, no, wasn't Alan road commissioner and foreman at the same time? Mm -hmm. It says the former Brian Westman for a while. Yeah. Well, so some towns do one. Do we have one select board in town? Select board member so. is the road commissioner, who the road foreman would answer to that okay. well, what road was commissioner. You, what were you questioning here? Sorry. Okay. What's that? On the road foreman one, which what were you questioning? Doesn't it say in there that your road foreman answers to the road commissioner? Yeah, that's what we just said. <coughs> it would be hard to be the same person. If you're supposed well, if you're I'm talking to myself all if, the time. Yeah, <laughs> if the road foreman is to answer to the road commissioner well, and it's all the same person, that would not work. I think well, there was verbiage to take care of that, but I'm not 100% there. Mm -hmm. 
decided to have it. Um, she saw a vision of the work on her current supervision. Just barely did it. In her absence, the slide board will have to turn the independent judgment and daily repeat. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had this discussion before, but. Right. We didn't even have job descriptions before Lance until this year. No, but we talked about, no, we talked about when we did the foreman's position, we talked about, uh, oops, what happens if they're the same person? They changed her. Well, it's not like we're changing our road commissioner today because it's there until at least next March. So what we have is supervision received under road foreman, Terry. Ready? What? Okay, I pulled it up. You want to see what we have written down? First? Yes, I would. Okay, it says work under the direct supervision of Road Commissioner of Bakersfield. In his or her absence, the select board while exercising independent judgment in the daily routine of the department. So, which means if they were the same person, they would work under the direct supervision of us. Like what Mac does now, he comes to us, he makes the decisions for the daily operations. And comes to us with the extras. So at some not point, it might either. not be the same. Exactly. That's why we said in his or her absence. So if we don't have, or if the road commissioner is the road foreman, which in this case it is, they will make the decisions working directly under us. Yeah, right. you. But now, if there was somebody that ended up if there was somebody not that, being right, then, as such, then right. say you were the road, fall under. Say you were the road commissioner. Mac would give you the reports, you would bring the reports to us, telling right. us what's been done, how stuff's going, that type of stuff. So this is technically his road commissioner job portion. You need me to call and we're trying to tell him to go, go to the bow or whatever. Right? Right. 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 Did you just say you want to appoint a to the road commissioner? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had to. Don't it's who we all work for. Yeah, but there's a right way and a wrong way about going about stuff. We work for a heck of a lot more than just those people uh, on Facebook. No, we work for the whole town. Yeah, I know. And they are. Believe me, it's not much better than it's a lot of people. Just like, I would agree with you. I'll come back in the site. I'll come back in the site. How come we got a lot more dirty water? Fire department is a great inspection. Turn the water off. Yeah, DC knocked that stuff down in shelter. So this, this one is just but their customer no, got notified. I was in. Because you're BC. Five minutes. We're GD. Five minutes without five minutes. Five minutes down. You didn't get notified? I did. I got phone call. You should have got a, yeah. Instead of being off like one o'clock, I'm like five minutes. Oh, uh, it's actually now. Oh. Uh, uh, it's the one that I had. Just as an example, which one? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Uh, this, is, <coughs> this is the one I just found. This was pulled right off the. No, I know, I know. This one is different. Yep. It's just a place to start. Right. That's I was just to read through to see if Absolutely. there was anything right. here that you were like, I don't know, don't do that. Oh, I like the supervise and assist in the placement and removal of street signs and decorations as required. <laughs> <laughs> well, so if you're going to do that, they're going to have CDL, they're going to help that kind of stuff. That's, that's this one, uh, number 20. As needed, may possess a valid class A CDL. Yeah. I don't think class A is, do you require class A? What's that? 
No, what's that? Oh, sure. Tractor trailer. No, I got the cheap one. I don't have the no. tractor trailer. Yeah, I don't no. think this does fit us. Because our, our commission, road commissioner may not be a working road commissioner. Correct. I, I was looking at more like the bullet points. No, I know, but I'm just saying the right, right off the bat, yeah. this here does not fit us. But you can modify it and make whatever you want. Right. Right. It's just a place to stay. That's like the that's one of the ones I, I know. I know. This was just the this was one I saw right off quick, and I just printed her emailed it to him. You guys back. dragged your darn feet, and that's why it's taken twenty years to get a damn job description. Well, I've only been alive thirty seven, so I wasn't even old enough to vote twenty years ago. So that's we not my fault. One. Not did. even I was even kept years asking ago. a question. You kept saying it wasn't your job description. <laughs> That's because of the new rules that came down since you've been on the board. <laughs> oh. See how much better man you are, don't matter. <laughs> don't believe me, just check Facebook. That's right. <laughs> Always getting that. Don't get that. Good thing that camera's <laughs> Should we turn it a little Two bit? Two cameras. Two cameras, yeah. Two cameras, one I'm getting a colonoscopy next Monday. I think I got one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hurt. Oh, I've had five or six of them. I've had two. It's enough. It only hurts when you look over and see that cord that's playing. <laughs> <laughs> you say, oh my we, God. We are, we are, um, we are <laughs> on file here, guys. <laughs> okay, it's public. You know what upset me, Max, when I looked over and I saw Roger on the side of the machine? <laughs> Doctor called me and said, I don't know what I'm telling you this for, you've done it enough. You could probably just do this yourself. I said, well, yeah, I probably wouldn't be too comfortable to it. <laughs> Maybe he woke up and had a pair of wooden knees at her. Really? Was, was that, was you reading that? I read it. I read it. <laughs> read it. Oh, I know he's lying to us. I read it. It's about what, what we do now for a foreman. Except for class A. You didn't have yeah, a... Class A, I don't think it's... You are the road commissioner. I did get it. No, time. I'm the public works director. Right, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's part of your umbrella. Right. Yeah. He does not do anything. <laughs> right. Don't play. Took me oh, yeah. 30 years to find that job, so you're quiet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do all the budgeting. You need quite a bit in the meantime, though, 30 years, didn't yeah. I just asked somebody something about you, and they said, Gary, that home. You don't work for a town in this very bad. No, a village. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are your comments on it, Mac? It's pretty much what you do now, most of the stuff. Right. No, because that... Well... The, this is like an active working road commissioner. It is. It is. You are now, but that might not be five years from now. We might not have one that well, is... What I'm saying is you're going to pay someone to do that job? How much do you what job? The road commissioner job. You said it's an active working job. No. She's it is. This in this job description, description, it is. Right. Just so you would have, you'd have to pay somebody if you're going to give them these kind of responsibilities. If you're going to give them responsibilities, you might well give them to them. Alright? I don't mind getting called at 3 o'clock in the morning. That poor guy is going to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning every time it snows and call me for 100 bucks a, a week. Good luck. No, this is saying that he's going to go out and work with you. This one, this one. That's fine. Oh, well, 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 what he's saying, here, what he's saying is, right now, right, the way the road commissioner is now, he gets $100 a week. Yes, October 1st. Right. No, April so 1st. He's getting up in November times, three, four times. 
for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. But that's this job description does not fit no, our model, no, is what I'm saying. You're, you're right, you're right. This is basing our work, this is our format. Really. Right. I'm gonna table this for another night. Okay. So we all can look at it better. I'll second that. <laughs> I say yes. <laughs> I'll have right. some blurred vision. It's, it's just this does not fit us no. at all. And, and I didn't say that it did. No, I no, just said I this is what I found on here. Right. Let's exactly. look at it. But I, I would rather take this and modify the, the uh, road foreman position we have using this because I think this more fits. Well, I think we've already got the road our, foreman our road, position. I'm going to look at it. In, in, uh, you should have looked at it when you voted on it. I did, but I did. <laughs> that's not road foreman, that's road commissioner. No, these are road foreman well, jobs. This is, that's what I'm talking about. That's not the building. In our right. town, these are road foreman Everything's responsibilities. Good. Yeah. Everything in our, in our town. I know. Okay, so they so can't be have a road commissioner because no. Gary didn't bring anything to us. No. Yeah, well, I'm not, that's a bad <laughs> <laughs> now, now who's now I'm adopting Gary. Did you second Gary's motion? Did Larry? That was just the table. I don't know the panel. I didn't know if you guys had a road commission. Gary, did you second Gary's motion? I know Fairfield. I did. Okay. I know Fairfield. It's actually a slug. All those in favor of tabling this? Because we needed a motion to table it for us. Then, yeah, say it like, aye. There you go. Aye. aye. And it looks like oh. Fairfax. Just All right. Looks like the village. Future agenda. Okay. I'm road commissioner's job description. <laughs> I, I think we bring that over to Tom. Put the, can we put that in with roads? Yep. Back? That way you have, you have input. Right. Think of stuff that you do that you, you would be like. You want the road? Well, yeah. See, I mean, this and I think. If you think of jobs that you're like, okay, in this next in this next week, think of jobs that you're like, okay, this is my job because I work here, and then you're like, jobs that I have to do because I have that commissioner position, which would be most of your PR. That's what I see as the road commissioner. It's more of a public relations person. I still work here. See, me. Okay. I'm not fired, man. No, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> fired. Okay. I said, this is kind of like us, where it's just a... See, the village, our road calendar it's not checks the road. A, I don't check. We have a motion to adjourn. Call. And that's why I'm late. He gets paid an hour yeah, a day. Yeah. I like that. Work yeah. seven hours a week. So 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 right. so right. so we have a motion to adjourn. Right. I'll second that. Motion to adjourn. Wait, I second that. Okay. Brenda made the motion to adjourn. Okay, who did? Brenda. Brenda. Seconded by Lance. Thirded by me. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.